We are in Windows 8 and Windows Server 8 and I'm going to show you the difference between the different kind of profiles and what they mean. So get into control panel, make sure you're on large or small icons and then click on the network and sharing center. From here click on change advanced sharing settings and we now see several different options. We have private, public, domain if your computer is a member of a domain and all networks. So the private network actually opens up more ports than the public one does. So if you choose private, then you'll have less security, but you have, you'll have more functionality. Uh, you can also turn on network discovery if you'd like, and you can turn on or off file and printer sharing. If you have the guest or public network for a particular network adapter, then you can also turn on or off network discovery or sharing, but a lot more of the ports are blocked by default. So if you want to play a, a game or host a game or a website or anything like that, then public access will block a lot of your access and you'll need to go into the firewall and set up specific ports to be opened or applications to be opened. So less functionality but more security. And if you have the domain, which is if your computer is a member of domain, then that's the default profile you get when you log in to any network card. Uh, you can also again turn on or off these different features. Uh, the domain gives full control over to the domain controller. So whatever the domain controller says is allowed in this computer is going to override anything that's on this computer anyway. And then if you have all networks, uh, you can turn on sharing so anyone can access uh, with network to access can get into files on your public folders on your computer or you can turn that off. Sort of a global sharing to the public folders. So that's all the different options uh, in the network profiles on Windows 8 and Server 8 and when you're done of course you have to click the save changes.